Hey guys, I'm Steven and I am arguing for PlayStation. Hello everyone, my name is Seth and I'm arguing for Xbox. So I'll go first. So PlayStation Ooh. actually has been going back since PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. Um, obviously it has been going on since about 10, 11, 12 years. However, the specific games that are listed only for uh, PlayStations are things like Uncharted, um, big games like uh, Last for Us and stuff like that are only relative to PlayStation, while Xbox only has things like Halo, which that's just Halo. Um, on top of that, uh, whenever Xbox came out with Kinect, PlayStation also came out with a movable game with the uh, sticks, I don't remember what it was called. Um, on top of that, so the majority of uh, professional video game are done using PlayStations. So that's why we have scuff controllers, um, things that uh, for the most part are done, like all, all most Call of Duty events are held with PlayStations only. Other issues that combine it is that you have a smaller controller and you don't have to fidget with you know, having to hold triggers and stuff like that, which because the triggers on the Xbox are like curved like this, but they're uh, for the PlayStation, they go inside. On top of that, the controllers have a touchscreen pad and they have their light up on the front and they can recharge. Um, and you don't have to change the batteries because they all of them, all of them are rechargeable. Anyways, to continue. Um, PlayStation PSN. Oh crap! Well, it's your turn. All right. So to start with, you started with the age debate. You know, saying PlayStation One goes back farther, and I'll give you that. It's farther than the original Xbox, but that really doesn't matter. No one really cared about the PlayStation One. It wasn't an impressive system. It only started becoming impressive at PlayStation Two, and that was when Xbox joined the game. Xbox pushed PlayStation to be better. PlayStation wouldn't be where it is if Xbox didn't step in and say, no, this is how you're gonna do it. And also, you made the point that, oh, PlayStation has better exclusives. Sure, maybe. Last of Us, it's great. Things like that, they're great. But Xbox, it always, with its exclusives, pushed the industry forward. Halo, you dismissed it, you know? It's just a game. Halo was the pinnacle first-person shooter at that time, and everything to this day is still using ideas from Halo. Things like advances in AI and lighting and physics and just the way guns work. All of that started with Halo and that wouldn't exist without Xbox. And there are other games also. You know, Gears of War exists in that and newer things like... There's not much, but <laughs> they exist. You know, Xbox is pioneering right now like crossplay and Sony and PlayStation were really behind on that, but Xbox made that push forward. And something that really, really matters now, especially as you know, people are getting more connected and there's more online stuff. Xbox is really pushing that community aspect. Xbox makes you feel like they care. Sony and PlayStation, it's much more about like single player experiences, which nothing wrong with that, but that's just not the way that the world's heading. You know, Xbox is having all those amazing things with things like Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate, letting you play with people online, like on PC, seamlessly. You can download your games anywhere. You can go with it anywhere Sorry. you want. Well, um, you previously said us something about uh, how the Game Pass is there and it allows you for online communications and all this other stuff. But PSN is free, unlike unlike the game Xbox Live, where you have to pay sixty dollars a freaking year, or 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 how is it much? Twelve dollars, fifteen dollars a month, or twenty five dollars every three months? No, no, no. PSN is free. You get to play online for free. On top of that, you know. Crossplay is available. Things like Fortnite, things like Modern Warfare, the current Modern Warfare right now is still is all cross-platform. Um, Smite is cross-platform. So you can't say that, yes, they were, they were behind in terms of being able to cross-platform, but they still have games and video games to do that. They're also coming out uh, with a similar idea of Game Pass. And I know obviously Xbox came out with it first, but PlayStation will have it. They also has uh, a lot of demo games that are available for free to play on PlayStation. Not as much as Xbox does, all right. More so than Xbox does. Oh dang! All right, you go ahead. Okay, so I will concede that point that PlayStation always does adapt. It always does. But the thing is, it wouldn't exist. PlayStation wouldn't be what it is without Xbox. Xbox starts those trends always with Halo, with the original Xbox. You know starting at PlayStation 2. Xbox is an innovator. You mentioned that the controller is weird, but they try to change it up. 
They try to get that peak performance. They know there's always more to be done. They're always changing. They're always looking for new things. And not everything lands. The connect kind of sucked. But there was an effort there. And that was the first real push towards VR games. Xbox lets everything else happen. You know, it might not be the best always at doing it, but it's almost always one of the first to do it. That's my time. Yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> so... That's it for us. Just tell us who won in the, in the comments below. Uh, it is Steven from ASME. And Seth from ASME. And we killed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.